Hey guys, so I'm here to do another cooking video. <clears throat> I just thought I would show you something uh, that is um, healthy and just, you know, something that doesn't really take a lot of effort to make. It's not like, you know, a huge fancy meal, but it's healthy and um, it's well balanced. So I thought I'd just show that here. So what I am making is I'm making a tenderloin dinner with um, brown rice and vegetables. So I'm just going to show you what I've got going on here so you know, because it's already cooking. So I, all right, so this is the tenderloin. You can get it right in the meat section. And this is how I'm cooking it. I have no idea if there's any other way to cook this. I just happen to cook it this way. And all I, all you do is you can use water or um, like vegetable broth or whatever kind of thing you want to use. Um, so I used water and I also used, for this one, I used this um, Noor spring vegetable recipe mix. Um, just to give it some flavor. So that's what's in there. There, uh, there is just one pork tenderloin. I cut it in half so it would cook better. It has the water. It has the nor, and I also cut up an onion. Just one of these onions. You can use whatever onion you want. It doesn't really matter. Put as much in as you want. It's basically for flavor. I have not added any salt or anything to it. I like to have like the natural flavor that comes from the food. And then over here is the brown rice. I know it's like, ah. Um, so basically, I use Uncle Ben's brown rice, and these are the cooking instructions. So basically, I don't know if you can see that. So right there, that's the measuring. Um, I'm doing the one cup of rice, the, I can't even read that like that. Um, the one cup of rice, two cups of water, and two tablespoons of butter. Um, I use butter because it's healthier than margarine. If you're going to go for something like that, I would suggest go for butter. Um, so basically all you have to do with this is bring it to a boil and then put it on simmer or low and let it cook for um, for 20 minutes. And then you just fluff it and you're good to go. Um, as far as vegetables go, <laughs> welcome to my cupboard. I can, I have, let's see, I have carrots, green beans, peas, or corn. That's what I have. So I'm going to choose from one of those. Um, or, if you want, you can go to, like, a, the freezer section of your store and get, you know, like, cut green beans. I also have um, mixed vegetables here. So, I actually got these at a food bank, so I actually didn't have to pay for it. <clears throat> so... The last thing that I want to show you is these. If you're not familiar with this, these are called leeks. And you find them with your, um, you know, with um, lettuce and whatnot in that section. And all you do is you take a knife and this part here, this part down, is going into the pot. It's for flavoring. This part up here, you don't cook with that. Um, it's not very good. However, you can use this part as flavoring, and then when you're ready to eat, just take it out and throw it away, or do whatever you do with that kind of thing. Um, and that goes in with the um, pork tenderloin. So, that is it. That's just what I'm making. Um, and with the pork tenderloin, um, I poke holes in the meat because it can be thick and that way the juices can get inside and have it moist and tender. And I 
put it on like medium, maybe medium high, get it going, you know, cook it on one side for a half hour, maybe cook it on the other side for a half hour, and then I turn it down between, you know, it's on simmer right now, um, I also cover it, and I, you know, I check on it, you know, and make sure that it's cooked the way that I want it, so it's basically just a judgment call on if you cook it this particular way, I'm sure there's other ways to cook pork tenderloin. So that's just what I do. So I just wanted to show you that because it's a, it's an easy, um, healthy dinner recipe suggestion. So I thought I'd give that to you guys. <laughs> so um, try it out. Let me know if you like it. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.